Hi, this is Joachim for statisticsglobe.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to measure the execution time of a function in R. So in the video I'm going to show you an example which is based on the R norm function and uh, I'm going to measure the application of this function for two different sample sizes. So the first sample size uh, is shown here in line one of the code and the second sample size is shown here in line two of the code. And if you run these two lines of code, you will see that uh, at the top right of our studio, our two sample sizes are stored in the objects N1 and N2. Now, if we want to measure the application of the R norm function to our first sample size, then we have to store the starting time and uh, this is what we can do here in line four of the code by saving the system time um, before the application of the function. And then in line eight of the code, you can see that we are saving the finishing time after the application of the R norm function. And uh, if we run lines four to eight of the code, it's important that we run everything together then you can see that two new data objects appear at the top right. So the object start one and the object end one. And um, if you have a look at these two data objects, you can see um, in each of the objects, a time is saved. Now, what we can do with uh, these two times is we can take the difference of the two time objects. And this is what we are going to do here in line nine of the code. So if you run this uh, line, you will see that a new data object time one appears. And if we have a look at this object, we can see that uh, the RStudio console returns the sentence time difference of 0 0.0159 and so on seconds. So this value here is actually the application time of the function R norm to our first sample size. Now, if we want to know how the application time of the function changes with increasing sample size, we can apply the same um, approach with a larger sample size. So with a sample size that we have stored here in N2. And if we run line 12 to 18 of our code, which is exactly the same, besides uh, the, the fact that we are applying the R norm function to our sample size N2, then you can see that this actually takes a while. Now it's still loading. And now you can see that the execution time of the function was 7.008 seconds. So much longer as in the first case. Yeah, so this is basically how to measure the application time of a function in the R programming language. However, if you want to learn more about this topic, you could check out my homepage statisticsglobe.com because on the homepage I have recently published a tutorial on the measurement of execution time of functions in R. And uh, in this tutorial, I'm explaining the R code of this video in some more detail. Uh, furthermore, if you have liked the video, of course, I would be very happy if you leave me a comment and don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos in future. Thanks a lot. See you next time. Bye bye.